Hello, folks, again. Yeah. I tried going live a moment ago, and uh, my phone just cut out on me. Now I'm trying to... Oops. <laughs> I'm trying to pin my post, and it's not cooperating. Yeah, so... There we go. Okay. Oh, well. I'm trying to pin it, but it's not working. Hang on, we're telling... What, yeah, okay. No problem. Oh, here we go. Pin comment. <laughs> it wasn't cooperating. Anyway, so I am kind of walking toward the sun, which makes it really hard for me to see. Do I have one viewer? I sure do. Oh my goodness. Hello. Oh, hi, Carrie. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so good to see you. How are you? Yes, I'm on my walk this morning. And uh, I don't know what time it is. <laughs> I forgot to look. I think it's like right before noon or something. How are you? Good to see you. Oh, thank you for all the hearts, you sweetheart. Thank you. I am, uh, I decided to wait until now to go for my walk because, you know, it's like in the 50s. I'm trying to see. It's very hard for me to see the screen because the sun, the sun is uh, glare, putting a big glare on it. So I gotta turn around every once in a while so I can see myself on the screen here. But anyway, um, I'm heading down to my favorite tree and, <laughs> and today I'm gonna definitely remember to scroll through the comments. Last time I had you and Sarah on with me, <laughs> I, I forgot to scroll through the comments. But anyway, yeah, today is Terrific Tuesday and I'm heading down to my favorite tree and it is very, very sunny out. So I, <laughs> I have this huge glare on, on my, uh, my phone screen, but that's okay. I'm just gonna hold it steady as, uh, as I'm walking. How are you? Oh, what did she say? It is about 11 a.m. for you. Oh, okay. <laughs> I know, I forgot what time it was for some odd reason. Isn't that funny? I know, I've got a lot to do today, but I decided this is probably the best day for me to go live because uh, I've got a lot of other stuff going on. <laughs> and uh, I don't know how long I'll be on for because I have, I have some errands to run and I've got some office work to do this afternoon and I've got the joy finder to write. <laughs> I have a very busy day. And I also, I don't know if I'll have time, but I really want to get the uh, sketch for my sixth design uh, going haven't yet done that. I'm really interested in getting that started up because I finished number five. Yay! I finished number five. I was so excited about that. But um, I'm having so much fun with it. I really am. Okay, just making sure I'm not missing anything here. So yeah, I'm almost down to my favorite tree. It is very, very sunny out this morning and it's supposed to get cloudy this afternoon. And then we're supposed to get storms. So I figured I'll go out now <laughs> while I have the opportunity and uh, have some sunshine. And here's my favorite tree. Here, let me flip it around so you can... Here's my favorite tree, oh. Beauty, beauty, beauty. There we go. I'm gonna go under it. Ah, see, now I can really see because I'm in the shade. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see, glad I caught you, needed a virtual walk today. There you go. Well, you better make sure you get a real one too, girl. <laughs> you definitely need to get a walk. Absolutely. So, here I am under my favorite tree. This is one of my favorite spots. Isn't that cool? I love looking at it from, from like this vantage point. Isn't that really cool? I love that. <laughs> yes, it's a beautiful day for now. <laughs> I know. They always, they always joke around in Texas that uh, if you don't like the weather, just wait 10 minutes, it'll change. Yeah. So, it's very uh, unpredictable. Yes, it is. Raining here today. Hello, sunny tree. <laughs> Raining. I forget. Where are you located? What state are you in, Ali uh, Carrie? I always forget. Good morning. <laughs> Dog walker. Um, so anyway, yeah, I, I know. I think the Northeast has has rain today. 
Yeah, Erie, Pennsylvania. Oh, okay. Yeah, you are right up there. Yeah, my folks are in New Jersey, so yeah, they've got rain. So, yeah, well, at least my parents anyway. We live in Texas. Yeah, we've lived here for about 20 years. So, but anyway, so yeah, here we are. Today is Terrific Tuesday and two miles from Lake Erie. Ooh, that's a nice area, isn't it? Sounds good. Very good. You know, it's funny, I used to spend, uh, when, I was a, um, when I was a youth, um, and I went to uh, a church called Jacksonville Chapel, and they used to hold retreats in Pennsylvania. They were like right over the border. They weren't very far at all from the Jersey line, you know, of Pennsylvania you know, between Jersey and Pennsylvania. And, um, and we used to go there on the weekend, uh, twice a year, we would have a winter retreat and a summer retreat. And I would save up all my money from my part-time jobs to pay for the lodging and all that stuff. And we had so much fun. Yes, we did. We had a good time. So that's what Pennsylvania triggers for me when I hear about that is the times that I spent as a youth. And then also, I think we did go to one after I got married to Bill too. So that was that was really cool. And we always had a lot of fun, you know, on those retreats, getting together and doing fun things. So yeah, so I have some very positive um, memories of Pennsylvania. And I think I even spent a little time with my family out there too, but I, I, I don't really remember that very well. Um, where there were miniature horses or ponies or something that we went to go see, but I don't remember that. That was a really long time ago. <laughs> That's when I was a very young child, so. But my mom remembers it anyway. So, yay for Pennsylvania. So, oh, it sounds like there's a uh, airplane overhead. But yes, we are in beautiful weather at the moment, so I thought I would come out and say hello and wish you all a terrific Tuesday. And I also wanted to remind you, and I know that Carrie, I know you've already watched it, which is awesome. Uh, the interview that I did with Laura Volpentesta, which is available on my website. You can go to my link in my bio uh, to watch or listen to the interview. It's called An Empowered Voice. And Laura is a vocalist, an artist, a teacher, an author, and a mother. Yeah. Thank you for the heart. And um, it was really, it was a fabulously fun conversation. Oh, thank you so much for the hearts, Carrie, you're sweet. And um, if you haven't seen it, I highly suggest that you go check it out because it's very inspiring. And I'm getting some really great feedback from folks who have watched it. They, they say, oh my gosh, it was fantastic or so inspiring. So if you haven't already checked it out, do so because it's really, we had such a good time. We talked about a lot of stuff. We covered a lot of ground and uh, just talking about the pleasure of creativity. So good morning. And uh, so yeah, so that was really, it was a really fun time for me and Laura together and we wanted to share that with the world. So yeah, so go check that out if you haven't already. It's on my YouTube channel as well. If you wanna go to YouTube uh, with my name, Dawn Herring, D-A-W-N-H-E-R-R-I-N-G. Uh, you can go there and you can find it very readily and easily. Uh, you can either listen to it uh, with the audio or you can watch it on the video. So yeah, I'm getting views on both. So what, whichever is your preference. I make it available both ways because I know some people like to watch videos and some people like to listen and, uh, and bring it with them like when they're on their walk or you know wherever they happen to be or whatever. Oh, and Carrie highly recommends it. Thank you, Carrie. <laughs> I appreciate that. So I had a lot of fun. And I think that when you really enjoy conversation with a person, it really comes through in the energy that you feel when you're watching or listening. And, uh, and I think that that's uh, a lot of what people are picking up on. So it's, it's really good. We talk about her musical history. We talk about her, um, her place as a student in art school as well as, as uh, in, in her position as teacher at Parsons. And she also has an online course, actually a bunch of online courses that are all fashion design and illustrated related. So, 
And she also wrote a book on the language of fashion design, which I read, which was fabulous. So yeah, there's a lot of stuff that we talk about. We talk about the inner child and why it's so important that we pay attention to that little girl or that little boy inside of us who has lots of things to say if we'll only listen. So yeah, there's, there's really, it's really, really cool what we covered in that interview. So you're welcome to go check it out. And today I am going to be writing the Joy Finder and I have yet to figure out what I'm going to talk about. So it's a surprise <laughs> for, those who, uh, for those who subscribe. And if you don't already subscribe, what are you waiting for? Oh my goodness, you want to have joy in your inbox, don't you? Yes. So go subscribe. The link is in my bio. And you'll get three secret keys to a more joy-filled life automatically when you sign up which is a really fun course that's all it's video based as well as prompts for you to reflect on so you got nothing to lose and joy to gain right so terrific Tuesday yes I like to play with the words of, of the, the names of the of the uh, days of the week it's a lot of fun for me I love alliteration <laughs> that's part of my English the English language has always been a fascination to me so but anyway, so I just thought I would pop in and say hello uh, a little bit live today under my favorite tree. Kind of do a little circuitry here. <laughs> I know I was actually yesterday, I was on my way back uh, from my favorite tree and I found a caterpillar crawling on the sidewalk and I took a little video clip of it if you haven't already seen it, it's in my IGTV. And um, I just love picking up on stuff like that. You know, you just never know. How about finding joy in painfully honest feedback? Finding joy in painfully honest feedback. What, what do you mean by that, Carrie? Can you clarify? Finding joy in painfully honest feedback. Feedback from who? From yourself? Is that what you mean by that? I don't know. Ugh. I don't like painful, <laughs> but I guess sometimes it can be that way, and we can learn from anything that we uh, that we hear. So you'll have to give me a little more on that, Carrie. What you mean by that? So anyway, yeah, you know, my journaling practice always gives me space for feedback, and uh, and sometimes what I write down is not exactly pretty. Yeah, but that's what it's for. It's help, it, it helps to give me clarity, which is why I created Seven Steps to Creative Clarity. Because when you dive into questions and things, let's say got some feedback from an editor on some work, and it's a bit hard to be joyful about today. Oh, I'm sorry about that, Carrie. Hmm. So what are you going to do about that? That's a good question. What are you going to do about that? I know it's hard to find joy when you get criticism on something and especially when you put your heart and soul into it. That can be a little more challenging, no doubt. Well, I hope that you can find the silver lining <laughs> in the criticism that you received. Uh, I'm not going to specifically ask you any. I don't know. You don't know what you're going to do about it. Oh, dear. Well, I guess anytime someone gives you feedback on something that you've been working on, it can be hard to receive when something isn't quite right or when they give you, I know it is to help me. Oh yeah, very true, very true. It's, it's what you call constructive criticism, right? It is very professional. Ah, there you go. So, you know, I think, to me, I think the fastest way to get joy in a situation like that is to really appreciate that person and what they have to share for you. Even though it may be hard to receive it, especially if it requires change, <laughs> which I'm assuming that what you got feedback on required change of some kind, I'm sure. And anytime we have to make a change with something, especially when we put a lot of time into it, that can be a real challenge. But just, seeing that feedback from the most positive light possible 
I guess is probably the best thing to do as far as that goes. Um, yeah. Just sitting with it for a little while and allowing yourself to feel, you know, whatever you feel about it. And I, I would certainly write in my journal, that's for sure. Yeah, I would definitely process uh, whatever I'm feeling in the journal. And that would probably help you get a fresh perspective on what, on what is required for you to move forward. And I wish you well on that because I know you, uh, you're a writer, published author, and I know that that's extremely important to you. So that's what I would recommend. Doing a little journal writing, get, getting all the angst out, and uh, trying to get a fresh perspective on what is being offered. Do you have a plan? Is there something that you know you can do? Is it just uh, a little bit discouraging for you or, or does it feel overwhelming? That, that's the question you would have to ask yourself. And anytime something is overwhelming, breaking it down into the smallest of baby steps can often help with the feeling of, am I going to be able to do this or not kind of thing. Yeah. So that's what I would recommend. Breaking it down, breaking it down. And then being grateful for that professional quality help that you're getting. Yeah, that's what I would do. Thanks for sharing that, Carrie. I appreciate it. And, uh, yeah, joy is something that I find to be, um, because it can be so fleeting, um, I think it's very important for us to be intentional about it. And when we're in challenging situations, like when we get critical feedback from somebody, that it can really help to write it down, write down exactly what that critical feedback is about, and then maybe ask the question, why is this a little more painful than I want it to be? Oh, thank you, my friend. It is overwhelming, so I think this calls for pizza. <laughs> that was good, Carrie. She's going to get herself some pizza. There you go. That'll make you feel better, right? It is overwhelming. Well, like I said, break it down. Break it down. It always helps to break it down when there's too much going on. Yeah. One step at a time. That's all you need to do. One step at a time. You'll be fine. Yes. So, I'm, I guess I'm going to wrap it up now because I have to go run and do some things. And I've got a busy afternoon coming up. So, thanks for joining me, Carrie. And for those of you who are catching it on the replay, welcome and thank you for watching. And I hope you all have a terrific Tuesday and may joy find you in the most unexpected places.